Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? <laughs> I'm Loomis, and we are back to Skyrim. Our new vampire friend, who I think we're planning on taking to the Dawnguard Stronghold to see what they make of her. Because I don't really want any vampire friends. I came here to wipe out the vampires, and I'm not sure why she's following me. So let's see. Where are we? So we're probably heading into Morthal. To uh, does Morthal have a, a wagon? We got a cart out of here. That would be nice. Mud crab legs will give me the strength to go on. They they won't actually, by the looks of it. Did I turn in that known route yet? Have I not got around to that? Yeah, I need to turn in the known route and then I can clear out my inventory of all this all these potion ingredients. That should help a lot with the burden issue. Is there any junk that I can chuck? I've got dragon bone and stuff. I need to head back to White Run and deposit some of this. So we've got silver on which we should really turn into gold. Let's see if we can stop by a shop here. What? Uh, how does one get out of the water? Quiet in Marthal. <coughs> Nobody seems to be around. Maybe they saw me coming. Oh, I see stickers by Dart is still broken. Oh, there's a guard. Time to find out whether we're, we're wanted here, or whether we are wanted here. I need to ask you to stop. That... Shh. Good. Now okay. Now straighten that out. You? You're the one who wiped out the Dark Brotherhood. All the guards are talking about it. You're a hero to us all. Huh. Good to know. What? Now get! I assume this means that you'll stop hassling me about shouting. Let's go sell some rubbish. God. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Of course, I'm probably going to end up buying more than I uh, sell, because look at all these alluring ingredients. What am I actually carrying that's so heavy? Is it just that I've got so many potion ingredients at the moment? Oh, I've also got all this armor. I'm just putting away. All right then. Yep, my uh, burden only went up with that. Whoa! What the? Okay. A vampire adopted a mud crab. 
I guess. Let's just find the, the wagon and get out of here. It's probably back the way we came if it's anywhere. Does Morthal even have a wagon? Does anybody come to Morthal on purpose? Morthal doesn't have a wagon, does it? If it did, I imagine it would be here. Isn't this like the only actual entrance? You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Jezargo only has so much. I'll give you more stuff to carry. Not a lot of, apparently. What are you carrying, Jezargo? Anything I can chuck? Ugh, corundum? Corundum's garbage. We'll throw that away. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Yeah, glad we straightened out that thing that we didn't talk about. She just keeps resurrecting the same mud crab over and over. I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, so there's no wagon here. I don't know if there's one elsewhere in town, but I'm guessing probably not. I think we might be walking somewhere. I want to get to what? You be careful with that fire. Oh, an alteration, nice. Yeah, I think we're walking. I guess Solitude's the nearest place with a wagon. It's probably faster to walk to Solitude and get the wagon to Whiterun than it is to walk to Whiterun. Okay. Is there any other shops here? Is there an inn? Is there anything? Got an inn. We'll spend the night. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. Never come here. Someone do something. Hmm. This guy really didn't want to be alive at the end of today. Well, that was fun. Running an inn weren't my plan, but drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Sell you a stamina potion. What else am I carrying? That's junk. Thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. 
All right, then. I think I used to have a necklace that boosts my uh, carrying capacity, but I think I must have sold it by accident. I don't have it anymore. I'll have to make another one. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh well. We'll get 12 hours and then everybody should be up. And I can see if there's a general store here. And when there isn't, I can get frustrated and throw some incredibly valuable stuff in the river. Tizago! The alchemist can't be the only shop here, right? There's got to be a business with the Yarl. I'd ask that you speak to me. Could be a general store or something. My mother and father died. I asked Valiant if someday I could learn from the mages in Winterhold, but he doesn't like that idea. Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. Hi there. Where do people buy their food if there's no general store? Does everybody just grow their own? What do people eat in this miserable swamp town? I don't think there's anything else here. Somewhere warm, like Gisargo only has so much room to carry things. I don't know if Josago is actually using these or not. Oh well. He's not anymore. Lead on, friend. Let's move faster. The sun is. It's not great for my skin. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we're heading solitude, but we'll catch the wagon from there. Potions are currently maxed out. Oh, they are apparently. I guess I'll reset it before I turn all these things into potions and see how many levels we get. See if we can get all those enchanting skills I want for the items I want to upgrade. What? Are we heading the right way? Yeah, I guess so. Now get! It's a long walk. Okay, just 
run right into me. I'm on my way to Solid. To join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone. I was born and raised. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need any more Imperials. Being executed for a crime that I didn't commit was... You know, well, once is enough. I think my long-term plan consists of, uh, first we get the Imperials out of Skyrim, then we get the Nords out of Skyrim, and then uh, all of Skyrim's problems will be solved. One thing at a time. First we get the vampires out of Skyrim. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. All of a sudden there's Come people everywhere with this exact dialogue. I've not seen that before, but now they're now they're everywhere. Everyone on, on the map suddenly keeps calling me a milk drinker. Is it a DLC thing? If I fucked a bunch of annoying people by joining the Dawn Guard. If I encounter any more of those on my way to solitude. Maybe that's what the bears have been saying all along, I don't know. That would fit with their actions so far. I think I've got a hundred speech. Yeah. Why can I not intimidate anybody? Merchant in the world gains a thousand gold for bartering. That would be useful. Why have I not picked that up yet? Yeah, I've got a hundred speech. I'm dressed head to toe in Daedric armor and carrying an axe made out of dragon bone. Why? Why is nobody intimidated by me? I think I've wandered off the road. Yeah, this wasn't the right path. Is it because these people live in Skyrim and therefore would like to not live anymore? 
I can sympathize. Living in Skyrim makes me want them to not live anymore. White run, good sir. I can take you to. Where do you want to go? Uh, Morthal, the only place on the map that I've never I'm taken a wagon to. Nobody goes to Morthal on purpose. You ever met one of them cats? A sheep. I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole. Is a Kaji with me right now? Smithing. Am I smithing at the moment or am I just going? Okay, I'm smithing at the moment. So I've got the stuff. Go to bed, Elson. It's 9.40 p.m. Okay, let me put away some of this stuff. Sneaks up on us. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Yeah, yeah. Give me all your all the crafting stuff back. And I guess take all my ingredients. So what's really clogging up my inventory, and I don't need them just yet. Yeah, I've been handing a whole bunch of like weird poison stuff to a friend, and you just absentmindedly pop one in your mouth. Lead on, friend. crafting while we're here, just to clear up all the stuff in our inventories. Honor and then we'll move on. Again, my fame. I'm a bird, I'm a bird! Jizago, could you move please? Continue to be a bird. <sighs> this is getting out of hand. Now there is two of them. Oh, I 
what crafting stuff have we got tucked away? Oh no. <laughs> why is there a button to get everything out? And why is it the same button as the button you use to put things in? Carry weight 5,000. It's square to get things out, but triangle to put things in. And if you hit triangle to get something out, thinking it's a button to get something in, you get literally everything out. Why would somebody do this? What sadist made this game? Am I supposed to be doing something with this? Uh, I guess not. That one I, I apparently need. and stuff I just want to sell, really. I don't know. Chanting currently maxed, yeah, but I'm. Okay. Looks like I, I can do the enchantment that I wanted. Hmm. I'm gonna probably reset that because why not?
Okay, fine. Let's go do some crafting. myself a necklace that gives enhanced carry weight. And I kind of want to enchant this armor that I'm currently wearing. Natch leather is. Hey, Savannah, what are you doing? You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Got some good, the finest weapons and armor. You say that, but you don't appear to be carrying anything. <coughs> don't forget to check inside the shop. I'm guessing you're not open yet. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten up this early. Well, I made some daggers and some rings. I guess I can go enchant them while we wait for people. She's clearly working at the forge. I don't claim to be the looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Here we go. And hold on to that gold diamond necklace. Mm -hmm. I want to enchant all this stuff before I sell it, I guess. Dragon's Reach. Hmm. I help my father in more ways than people realize. that. 
I don't have time to not use my life force to transmute metal. B. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> right up. Not, mu not much up with me, just having a chill day. <laughs> how about you? Are you having a good day? Just trying to turn in all these crafting ingredients I've got, see what I can make. I accidentally uh, took everything I own out of my cupboard. So, I might as well spend it all while I've got it in my inventory. Vampire Lady keeps... Are they still not awake? Heck it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go do my enchanting now then, and I'll work my way back. Do I not have Whirlwind Sprint selected? What? Knock out! <laughs> Meltdown weapons and armor. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but I'm heading that way anyway. So sure. Save me a walk. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, then you just make things and melt them down, and make things and melt them down to level yourself up, right? I mean, I certainly would. I'm gonna turn down the free XP. But yeah, it'd be nice to be able to melt down all of this junk that I've got and get something back. In theory, I'm selling the stuff, but divine spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. But in practice, most places can't afford. The, the amount of high level stuff I keep throwing at them. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Yeah, that I mean that'd stop you from looping it infinitely. I think you I think people would still probably uh recycle a lot of the rubbish metals to make the most of it. Let's see. I want to make myself a new carry weight necklace. And I can put something else on it. I don't really know what I'd want to. Stamina, maybe? If I'm wearing my carry weight necklace, it probably means I'm trudging my way back to store, so it's more stamina would let me run f for longer. Sure. Oh, I need a soul jump. I also want to enchant this stylish armor that I've got. Oh, you can't put carry weight on this? Fine, I'll just have magic or regen. Um, do I have magic or regen and magic or regen? I think I probably have magic or regen and magic or regen. Oops. Still got the night butt thing going. Let me turn that off. 
So that team streaming at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'd be in favour of any extra crafting stuff they threw into Skyrim, since that's the part of the game I enjoy the most. Enjoy just making ludicrous stuff. I don't know, I just like the experience of gathering stuff as I travel and then making stuff, selling it, just slowly bumping stuff up. I find it more fun than the actual combat, which is a bit repetitive. This this lady go just keeps going around using everything. Does she not realize how impolite it is to just walk into people's homes and start using their enchanting table without even asking? Anyway. Let's enchant some of this junk. Oh, actually. What I meant to do before I start doing that. Now that I've enchanted everything that I have any intention of using, let's get some free perks. See how much we can immediately level that back up. I don't know what I'm doing with the. Well, I, actually, I do want that uh, speech perk. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing with all these perks. It just feels wasteful to not co to collect these things and then not spend them. I'll turn all these in, and then we can get back to our mission. She's figuring out what the heck we're doing with this vampire woman. Dragons reached because the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. I hadn't done that the last 500 times I've been here. What makes you think I'm doing it this time? Everybody seems to think that just because I'm a great warrior, that I'm into great warrior things. Maybe I just came here to make some necklaces. Flood the market with cheap enchanted jewelry. Yeah, I could stand for a more complicated crafting system with stuff being melted down and such. But then again, I basically just want every game to be Dwarf Fortress. I went out of things to enchant. back up to 52 enchanting. I do wish you could, I do wish there was a faster way to uh, enchant items, but for some reason the game designers seem to want to make crafting magical items of incredible power a uh, focused experience, like you shouldn't just be churning out enough magic daggers to conquer Thamriel. 
in a five minute span. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss now. What's she doing? Look at her, like the rest of the great warriors. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I appreciate the money you'll give me for buying all these daggers. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. So with the right speech skill, you can sell anything to anybody, but what, what does that guy do with them? Like, do I sell him these things and he's sitting there afterwards being like, oh, what, do I, what have I done? What am I going to do with all these daggers? What was I thinking? I've got, I've got no use for them. That's, that's, that's my life savings. And then I, I come back the next day and I'm like, have you ever owned a really good set of steak knives? And he's like, show me the enchantments. What? We are the children of man. Salos is the true god of man. Ascended from flesh. I'll fix my broken bones while I'm here. They'll be broke. Okay. They'll be broken again in five minutes. First bear we encounter. But you know. Get some of these. We can use up some more of the ma the materials we've collected. Uh, oh yeah, I really wanted that speech one, didn't I? A thousand gold from ev every trader. These maybe. Sound good. Can I? Uh, okay, you need a hundred for that. Oh, have I not actually taken this one? Use them all? Okay, guess we're done with that then. Ooh, pretty colors. What are you guys doing through there? I remember previously thinking that the game would be more fun if you could get more companions, but now that I've actually got two of them, I kind of feel like uh, maybe maybe one was enough. Twice as many people blocking me off when I tried to get through a doorway. Going in the back entrance to every shop because they can. Oh, 
Although if she'd carry some stuff, my opinion might change. Take a good look around. I'm what is up sure for another? Look again. Not, is it no the the vampirism? Way. Can you just you just can't help it, huh? Me. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Vampires feel just feel compelled to uh, sneak around, I guess. You can't just kick in the front door and murder everybody like an honest person. They gotta go, gotta go sneaking. Do come back. Everything's for sale, my friend. I don't hold with none of this stealth stuff. Okay, I saw the kid walking between two people in, in tabards, and for a moment I thought they'd arrested her. Almost done here. I work for Bellator, the general good state. Yeah, I know who you are. I live here. I, I live like next door to the general good store. I mean, I don't know your name. I'm probably never going to learn your name, so maybe you're right to uh, the finest frequently the remind me of your existence. And again, the people whose existence I've noticed in the game tend to have ended badly. I sell all these rings because I hate them. They just mock me. I can never wear an enchanted ring again because I got this stupid glitched Good cursed ring. With you. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking by. More inside. Back up then. I don't know if I think there's some things they use corundum other than for making steel. I can't remember whether you need or uh, ingots. Oh, I think it'd be ingots, surely. So I guess I'll melt that down. Get out of me. As long as we're stuck here.
Oh, we went out of leather. Is that why we... Oh, we need leather strips. Okay. Is that why we can't make anything? Okay, now this does look like we've used up all of our metal. Got some good looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. I both, I guess, but not really from you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Yeah, I'll go sell the rest of this junk in there. Get out of here. Welcome. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Oh, this guy's broke. Never mind. We'll just go throw it all in the cupboard. Where we'll tell ourselves that we'll take it out to sell later when we need money. But we're we're never gonna get any of this stuff out again. The time has come. Uh. Okay. I have done all that can be done. There is nothing left. No quests to be undertaken, no villains to be slain, no challenges to face. Except for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Make your preparations. When you're ready, come find me at my last vigil. Okay. <laughs> Where, where's your last when vigil? We meet. It will be at my last vigil. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what I, I feel like we've just encountered another player character. He's looking for a bonus boss. Keep a few of these with me in case I need to recharge something. I don't know why I can't put this one away. I, I like I know I've used this one. Oh, well. uh. If anyone sneaks up on us. Jezargo only has so much room to get things. Oh yeah, just all the potion ingredients. Kajit will follow. Alright, let's get out of here. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Uh, go 
heck's the name of the place? Rifton. I think it's Rifton. Until. Yeah, it's Rifton. It's time. I can take you. T Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I might have to stop and get myself a pint at Blackbriar Mead while I'm in Rifton. It's worth the trip all by itself. Middle of the night, is it? Our delivery here and then go to Fort Dawnstar or whatever it's called. Honored to see you again, my fame. The, the place where the Dawn Guard live. The sun kind of just doesn't really rise here, does it? <laughs> Wait, I know you. No, you don't. Exactly, they'll see me in my vampire clothes and and think, you know, obviously she's killed some vampires for that. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor from Grelka. Uh, am I at the wrong end? <laughs> Look, I'm no fan of the vampires, but I, uh... You know, I can't, I can't reject armor this fashionable. For my, uh, trips around town. Am I supposed to be wearing what the Nords wear? Not in your life. Alright, where's this apprentice who wants an urn root? Thanks again for delivering that ore sample. This place is safe, so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I only not showed up to work yet. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. Uh, let's see. I mean, the first time I went to see the Dawn Guard, they did attack me on sight, for reasons that I still haven't figured out why. I killed all of them who wasn't, uh, you know, immortal. Ah, uh, there you are. Any luck gathering those ingredients? And then I went back later and they asked me if I wanted to join, so... Ah, oh, yes, excellent samples. Thank you. This coin Obviously they were impressed. All the bother. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here, this key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Oh. Don't forget to check your supply ingredients, chest from time I guess. to time. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going back there or not, but this quest took an unexpected turn, so I wanted to check in. Uh, which one's her chest, then? Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. Yeah, here we go. This place makes me a little uneasy. Yeah, I went to the place where I was supposed to kill all the vampires, and this vampire lady was there and asked to be my friend. It's like, I, I don't... They, they didn't cover this in Dawn Guard training, what to do if the, the vampires are friendly. So I'm going to take her to Dawn Guard headquarters and see what they say to do with her. Because she wants me to go off and do some vampire missions, but I'm not... Sure, I'm keen on that. Wait, 
I know you. No, you don't. Stop wasting my time. Savannah is bay. <laughs> Don't get too attached. <laughs> the lichens shall reign. About this this werewolf ring that proves that I'm on the uh, the lichen side in the shadow war. Where is it? This thing that I can apparently never take off because the quest line glitched. So yeah, I got to be on the werewolf side and against the vampires. Just how it's got to be. Kiara Strings, hi, how are you doing? I don't know who you think I am and I don't Oh care. not this Leave again. <laughs> it is no, it's not modded in any way. Not even to fix the uh endless waves of bugs. I wanted the this is the first time I've played it and I wanted the uh true Skyrim experience. <laughs> This other one gonna get back up. No, he's Find done. Whoever did this. <laughs> Let's get indoors. Find whoever did. I'm right here. Anywhere, just out of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Having a good day. Nice and chill. Uh, okay. If I follow this round, I should be able to get there. Yeah, I don't know if I don't. I'm honestly not sure if that quest line is glitched or if it's just not supposed to deal with that. But I did the the whole quest line with the red guard where they were harassing that woman and she told me to kill their leader so they'd go away. But there's still a red guard everywhere harassing women. Uh, I think I started with the, the warrior class. I mean, class doesn't really mean much when you get to higher levels, I guess, but I've been mostly going heavy armor and bow. Can I... Oh, okay, I've obviously taken a wrong turn. Uh, no, I haven't. That's that's where I need to go. I I can't. I apparently can't go to Fort Dawnguard while this lady's here. That uh, okay. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. <laughs> yeah, Jizago here is my, my partner. I'm trying to figure out what to do with Serena. Like, I set out to kill all vampires, and then this vampire starts following me around. I don't know what to do with her. So I try and take her to Fort Dawnguard, and I hear Akatosh's voice in my head saying, you cannot go that way, just like when I try to leave Skyrim. I guess Akatosh is saying that I have to help Serena? Explains <laughs> about the sun, the moon. Yeah, she kind of hasn't shut up so far. Yeah, when I when I started the game, I thought uh, I was thinking, you know, I'll, I want to play something a character who's a bit different, you know. Archers are normally like 
little sneaky types, but in, in the real world you have to be really strong to use a bow. So what if I play like a soldier archer? You know, he heavy armor and a bow? I, I thought that'd be really different and then I started playing the game and discovered that everybody plays archers because they're super overpowered in this game. So I wasn't being as clever as I thought. I think Stay Healthy Bot is broken. I've not seen it in a while. So yeah, I guess we gotta go do whatever Serena's deal is. I'm a little bit worried that I broke the Dawnguard quest line by talking to her, and now I'm stuck in the vampire quest line. But I guess we'll figure it out. Hmm. This dungeon with the shout is right here, and I've been meaning to do that for a while. So we'll go grab the shout while I'm while we're passing through. Whoa, what the heck happened here? Uh, a strange one. Was it the bears? It must have been the bears. There's a bunch of dangerous bears here. They must have burned down this house. It's, it's really the only explanation I can think of. There's no water near here, so... Oh, no, wait, there is some water. It could have been mud crabs. The terrible, deadly creatures that are besieging Skyrim. Let's see. Oh, what? I'm not sure if I accidentally clobbered one of the Stormcloaks in, in that, or if they're just attacking me for the fun of it. It was just the Imperials I was after. Oh well. What's the entrance to this cave? Why do I have two markers on my map? What else is... Oh, apparently I'm supposed to go there for some reason. Uh, up there? I've not figured out the uh, Serena thing yet. I guess once, uh, maybe once we take her home, we can see what this deal is. Am I supposed to go this way? Personally, I feel like if you're a vampire and you're stood in the sunlight and you're not on fire, then, uh, You've really got nothing to complain about. Okay. 
okay, this is the place, I guess. Oh, it's not a dungeon, it's just a wall. And judging by the sounds, it's a wall with a legendary dragon. I should really be wearing my armor for this. <laughs> well, it's important to be supportive. I'm sure she'll uh, appreciate that. Is Serena everybody's waifu then? I wanted to marry Jazago, but apparently he's not an option. All the good ones are taken. Not married anybody yet, but uh, yeah, nobody's really jumped out at me. I think all of the problem is that, from what I can see, the entire romance thing consists of saying, going up to a person and saying, "Hey, marry me." I feel like there should be slightly more to it than that. Okay, I didn't catch what word was on here. I guess it'll be on my, my list though. Ah, okay. Apparently I've learned the word for terror. This is the problem with vampires these days. They're all fake goths. They're not committed to the, the fashion. for the accidental spoiler, Kiara. Although I suppose if you're watching a Skyrim stream, you probably don't mind that so much. Yeah, it is a thing that you can do. I've not got around to doing it yet, but it doesn't look like there's uh, much involved. I have been thinking about the black... I have a conversation here. <laughs> Been thinking about the blacksmith lady in uh Marthal? No not Marthal. The the place in the southwest. That's like tucked away. The one that's got a name like Marthal but isn't Marthal. of any of the places. It's been a little while since I've played this. It's, my memory's deserted me. Not Falkyrie. Uh, Marka, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Exter. Are you serious? What? 
what is going on? How come every animal on the map has decided to suddenly appear around me at once? Another kick. I've spent enough time underground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind you. Crystal drift. I don't think I've got much reason to go in there. I'll pass. <laughs> Playing Skyrim since June, fair enough. I don't know how long I've been playing this. I've been just I've I've not been like really committing to it, I guess. I've been playing for like a couple of hours a week. But it's it's been a while. Is there anything worse than trying to use your whirlwind sprint to get somewhere faster and accidentally putting the world into slow motion? What is with the animals today? It's even worse than Skyrim normally is. Should be just round here. And I guess back to Markarth to catch the wagon. Not Markarth. Riften. The, the names are not sticking today. My, my brain is just not running. I, I don't know what's up with me, but I, I'm not processing anything. <laughs> My brain is thoroughly clogged up. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Oh yeah, this was the lady whose husband disappeared. No, it can't be. Oh my. And all this time I was thinking he'd been unfaithful to me. I feel so stupid. I've been a fool, wasting my time sitting here helpless when I could have sent help sooner. Perhaps this is all my doing. What's done is done. Here, I want you to have this. Bringing me closure was kind of you. Drop by and see us again if you're ever in the area. So when when your husband went off to, I need to leave now, do I? You need to leave. Listen, when when your husband went off to this incredibly obvious dangerous leave. trap, you had an ebony warhammer of annihilating, just sitting around, and you didn't think to let him take that with him. Or to go after him and protect him with it or anything like that? I... You need to leave. Oh sure, now that I'm bringing up the fact that you obviously conspired to murder your husband, I need to leave. Fine, be that way. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I... Okay, I don't remember what I've done, but sure. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. I've never seen you use this color. Yeah. Green? Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Never seen leaves this. How long? How long were you in that block? You said like a couple of hundred years. I'm struggling to imagine that they didn't have, like, autumn back in your time. Oh, well. Uh... 
is this visual? Oh, that's not far away. I guess we can go do that before we uh, continue this Savanna stuff. See if this guy absolutely destroys me. Did the math to find out how long she was in there? I feel like she told me at one point, but I can't remember now. Maybe, maybe she wasn't specific. She said... She gave me some vague hint about how long she'd been in there anyway. Apparently she expects her family to still be around on that island, so... On the indirect, the uh... I, I can't remember what she said, and I can't remember what number I drew from it, but I remember that, that I drew a number. It's actually running away. I think that's the first time I've encountered a bear that doesn't come charging, screaming at me. <laughs> you found it? Oh, the, the line of dialogue? Yeah, I'm curious about this, uh, Ebony Warrior. Uh, yeah, go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Between 70,048 and 4,308 years. That's, that's a lot longer than I was thinking. Still not long enough that she's never seen trees this color before, though. You guys remember the loading screen where it talks about how bears are peaceful creatures who will mostly mind their own business if you leave them alone? I have three separate bears attacking me at once. Maybe she just doesn't remember what color trees were. I can't remember what happened last week, let alone 1700 years ago. Where did the other guy go? I've literally come across two groups of enemies fighting each other to see who gets the honor of dying at my hands. Skyrim is a mess. It's gonna be a lot better when I'm running this place. Alright, where's this Ebony Warrior? I'm curious about him. It feels quite fourth wall breaking that there's a guy in like endgame armor who's who's all yeah, I've done every single quest. I'm a, I'm a bit bored of this now. Maybe, maybe you'll be a challenge? And I kinda like that. One of my friends who's really into the lore of this game keeps telling me all this stuff about... Uh, 
was his name? One of the Daedric princes, I, th I think, and he's got this whole whole group of followers. But their their deal is that they can tamper with the game's code. And they've got a holy book where they talk about things like uh, falling in battle and having to go back to an earlier point in time to continue their mission. All, all the, the Keem stuff, I think it is. There's this strange eldritch magic in the game that when you read through the books, you're like, yeah, they're, they're messing around with the game's code. They, they apparently know it's a game. Hmm? Ooh, Moonstone Hall. I'm just gonna get this first. If he's really a player character, he'll understand. Do you have any warrior at the last visual? Need something? Quest complete, I guess. Does he not want to find me? What do you need? What are you doing? Yes. I hmm. When you first met, uh, remember the rule of. Skyrim is called High King, but she knows nothing about an empire from Cyrodiil. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I remember her saying that now. Yeah, that makes sense. So are we are we fighting or not? Something? What do you need? Hmm? What do you need? What do you need? You changed your mind? What do you need? Alright, uh bye, I guess. The time has come. Meet me on the on my last vigil. He on the last vigil and he asked me what I knew. Ash You animated the the deer? Serena, stop animating literally every dead thing we walk past. Honestly, you're like a child. Let's take you home to your parents before you get me into trouble. The new there's nothing worse than using the, your your dash shout at maximum power and not realizing that there's a rock at knee height a foot in front of you. I think you'd feel that one. The place she wanted to go to is near Solitude, right? 
Yeah, not far away. I can take you to any of the whole. Where do you want to go? Against my better judgment, take me to Solitude. We'll be off. Solitude's a big port town, you know, full of sailors and the tales of faraway lands. Most. Yeah, I think I know the castle that she means, because I think I went there once before. Looked around a bit and was like, okay, there's a lot of plot locked gates here. This is obviously an interesting location that I can't do anything with. How do I get there? I guess I guess up here and then circle back. What? Wait, I can get in here now? It was plot locked before, but I guess now that I've done the quest here, I can just open it up. I do hope you know what you're doing with those flames. You never should have come here. Well, it'd be a shame to find a bunch of Palma and not clean up a little. This is what I really wanted to do last time I was here. I mean, speaking as an elf, I don't necessarily disagree. But I nonetheless don't like you guys. I think Skyrim will be much better off when I'm running the place. I can get out here, but I can't go inside. All I'm saying is, if you want me to not exterminate your entire people, you probably shouldn't have tried to kill me. and Palma. Yeah, I didn't done nothing wrong at that point. It was literally my first first moment in Skyrim and they try and kill me. Like I hadn't I hadn't done anything wrong. I hadn't had a chance to yet. 
If they'd waited five minutes, I probably would have committed a few crimes, and, uh... They'd have an excuse, but no, they're just jerks. This is obviously not the right way anyway. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. <laughs> Knight, I'm not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from me. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if my intimidate skill is broken. Oh, hi, Mike. Mike knows many things. Don't try blocking if you have two weapons. You will only get confused. Much better to hit twice anyway. Some like taking friends on adventures. Maik thinks being alone is better. Less arguing about splitting treasure. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Yeah, I've got... I have 100 speech. And I've got the perks that boost my intimidate chances. And I never successfully intimidate anybody. Like, you'd think just the fact that I'm wearing full Daedric armor would be enough to intimidate a, a standard cut purse, but, uh... They're apparently all fearless. I'm wearing full uh, Daedric armor, my friend is wearing full Daedric armor. We're hanging out with an elder vampire. What about this seems like a good idea? Okay, and we probably want to get down to the shore now if we can. Do you think it's all an elaborate bluff? Do you think they expect me to think, wow, if he's willing to approach us of all people and demand money, then he must be unstoppable. Except I've seen, I've Bested his bluff, not because I've seen through it, but because I didn't notice that there was a bluff in the first place. Oh, it's just a, a 
bunch of, uh, what are they called, hawkers? Yeah. From from there, when they were all next to each other, I thought that was the mother of all mud crabs. What? Not yet. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is the place I came to before. Everything was plot locked. Serena, you want to talk to him? Go on, get out of here. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. So wait, you didn't know Skyrim's weather before you... Did they put her in the block and then ship her here from somewhere else? What now? This is it. Home sweet castle. I didn't want you to think I was one of those, you know, the women who just sit in their castle all day. I don't know. Coming from a place like this, well, it's not really me. I hope you can believe that. I, sure. I, I'm sorry. It's not that. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. I mean, we're at your home. Do you want? You want to? of the sun. It would be better than this. You wanna you wanna talk to the guardsman? Tell him that you're you're home, you live here, let us in now? What do we So this is the place. This is the place. Oh, get out of here. Here we are. Ready to go in? I am very ready to go in. Go on. Talk 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 to the guy. I mean, the quest marker's pointing here, so I assume I'm not supposed to be sneaking around a back entrance. You're not welcome here. What now? Hmm. Is there something we're supposed to do here first? See if there's another way in, I guess.
Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die on this uh, this cliffside just here. Oh no. Oh, hello. Yeah. I guess. Whoop. Is this what I'm looking for? This is reminding me of Better Black Isle. Hopefully this will be a better DLC than that one was. That other door that I spotted. There was another one, right? I saw a wooden door. I thought. Hmm, maybe I'm losing my marbles. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, I guess we're we're not getting in this way. Yes. Yes, it is. And it's mine. It's complicated. I can this is it. Holmes it's something all right. I can go any further along here. Uh, it's still gonna get me killed. Whoop. Uh. <laughs> Apparently I can just keep circling the... oh. 
gotta come to the aisle. I, I assumed that falling in the water here would be instant death, but no, I can just swim. That's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Make no mistake, we will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. Jess, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Wait, w were you streaming? Dang it, did I miss a stream? Just playing Dragon Age Inquisition. I guess that's uh, predictable. Back to the classics. <laughs> How are you doing, Jess? And hey, Badger. How are you doing today? Did you come in with the raid, or were you just lurking? <laughs> internet. Oh, your internet cut off after thirty what? minutes. That yeah, that okay. sucks. Is the internet giving you trouble in general? Or is it just chosen today to be awkward? I remember you were having trouble with your internet before, but I, I was hoping that was sorted. <laughs> Fail at streaming, lol. I mean, we no, we successfully stream League of Legends. We just don't successfully stream us winning at League of Legends. What? Okay. But but footage goes out. Yeah, are they like are they throttling your internet? You spend thirty minutes streaming and then they say, Okay, you've had you've had enough internet. So uh, let's cut that down. Because, yeah, definitely ditch them if that's what's going on. Getting further away from the, the castle. I need to complain about the Discord server, but you're not going to do that in front of a live audience. Oh man. Instead, you're just going to keep me on Tita Hooks wondering what's up with the Discord server. What's happened? Has somebody posted a meme that isn't edgy enough? <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Jess. But, uh... Disappointed that I can't watch your stream. I don't know what could be more simple, Badger. Look, in, in con conform is for general chatting with its various topics. Consume is for talking about things that we... things that come out, like streams and YouTube uploads. 
And then obey is for rules and announcements. Rules, announcements, and releases. Places where I'll be talking, but nobody else should be. Totally secret tabs, tabs for chat are never used. I mean, that's that's true. No, nobody uses the uh, the mod only chat. But I'm okay with that. We used to use it more back when we were doing YouTube stuff. It's where we'd uh, arrange dates for filming. But obviously, with quarantine, nobody's coming around to film pre-recorded stuff with me. Oh yeah, streams is for talking about streams. Releases is for when I announce releases. I prefer to have releases in its in its own channel so that people can mute it without muting actual discussion. Go away. We don't suffer trespassers. Let me in. Let me in! I can briefly talk to him while mid-jump according to this. I can pickpocket him but I can't talk to him. I think the is the iron bar blocking my conversation. Oh, God, hold on. Oh, I had it lined up for a second there. Thanks, Jazago. <laughs> so I'm I'm glad we can agree the Discord is perfectly laid out and there are no problems. Hmm? Got any plates in my inventory? You want me to throw them at him? Not how you would I mean you've got your own discord so I guess it's literally not how you've done it you are not welcome here okay I've got arranged to talk to him but he just you yells at me to go away go away we don't suffer trespassers right. what even is Serena now we lost her while we were roaming around the outskirts of the island I guess. Well, how would you change it then, Badger? Or what would you do differently? You'd want me to start posting releases under streams? Have you been anyway, Jess? What you got going on? I don't get to talk to you as often as I'd like. I'm still grumpy that I missed your stream, even if it was only 30 minutes of internet problems. think it's fine. Storming in here. I hate your Discord server. The layout's awful. What's what's wrong with it? Nothing. I think it's fine. Alright, ciao Badger. Thank thank you for this uh productive conversation. <laughs> Catch you later. Uh, probably Serena will respawn, will respawn if I ride the boat back and forth. Do you need something? Tell me about it's your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. 
It's on an island near... It's my family home. My father and I don't really get along. Ugh, saying it out loud makes it sound so... common. Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Back out to the... Back out to the island. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Uh, Varan Tat? Hi. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the failings. I hope you're having a good day. Just Tat? Okay. How are you doing? You having a good day? Go on, get out of here. Go away. We don't suffer what now? Don't suffer. We're not trespassing. She literally lives here. Hey, what does the quest thing say? Lead Serena to her home. Mission complete, I guess. Do you need something? <laughs> Why don't you keep your things and I'll keep mine? <laughs> you got to watch me play Skyrim. I feel like that would ruin most people's days, but I appreciate the sen sentiment. <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks. Had a productive weekend, I'm just having a chill day. Uh, only problem is, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing here. The, the, the quest says to go through that door, but the guard won't let me in. I kind of assumed that Serena would, you know, talk to him, but she doesn't seem to want to. What is it? If you think I'm gonna let you have all the fun, you're crazy. I'll let you lead ahead, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I knew you'd miss me. Okay. Is she even grateful? I... yeah. Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you, but I'll be following. Okay, now she's still... Up. Yes? Let's go. <laughs> Get out of here. Yes. Go away. We don't suffer and go where? You can't just leave me alone whenever you feel like it. I'm coming with you, like it or not. You can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> okay. Not I, I do as her quest commands and bring her to her home. And all she says is, you can't get rid of me that easily, and continues following me around. I don't know, I guess she doesn't want to be here. I don't know what to do with her. I guess we're stuck with her forever. We've got we've got two companions now. Maybe we should just enjoy it. Maybe they'll let me in when it's daytime. I mean, it's a vampire fortress, so I thought nighttime was the right time to approach. But uh, we'll go find a bed somewhere and come back in a few hours. Yeah, she, she's imprinted on me. We've, we've bonded now. She doesn't want to go home, she just wants to stay with me. Uh, see, I don't want to go too far, because... Then I've got to get back here when it's daytime. But there's this keep here. Maybe I can find a bed in there. We'll see if they're friendlier in the morning. If this place has an end, ah, here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's get a couple of hours. Like, I'm not going to super complain if the quest is broken and I do get to permanently have two companions, but I... I don't know. I'd like to do the DLC quest line. I guess it's good to know that the DLC is no more polished than the rest of Skyrim. Absolutely everything is broken. Not the first quest that's glitched on me, and it won't be the last. Okay, it's daytime now. Let's see if the guy's in a better mood. Maybe he's had his coffee and he feels fine. She just she she lives with us now. Go away. We don't suffer trespassers. She won't go home. She's refusing. Oh, what is it? This is it. Home sweet. I didn't want you to think I don't know. Coming from a place like I'll hang back for a bit, but you're not I know you'd miss me. Yeah, this is apparently all I'm getting. Skyrim, it just works. So, neither of these quest lines seem to work now. I guess we'll find something else to do. We're not far from the beach. Let's go take this quest off. It still might be, might be faster to go back to solitude and just just catch the uh, the cart, take a wagon there. What? Okay. So yeah, I I can't go to. Uh, the Dawnguard Fortress. I can't go to the Vampire Fortress. I, I guess DLC complete? Move on to the next one. We've got to take a, a boat somewhere, because working out... Because taking the boat worked out so well for us this time.
Can just sneak past the bear, but their aggro range is huge. Oh, no, I don't think it did aggro on me, it's just making noises. It's hoping that when we go to uh, Solstheim, I think is the name of the place, the other DLC place. He's hoping we don't get stuck there or something. Then again, if Solstheim is outside of Skyrim and like doesn't have Nords or anything like that, you know, would we really want to come back? opposed to having an extra companion to keep me company in all the fights, I guess. I kind of wish she wasn't a vampire, since my established law is that I don't like vampires. But, you know, I guess there's no reason to be prejudiced. Just because we don't like vampires in general doesn't mean we can't be friends with this specific vampire. I'm just annoyed with all the vampires constantly attacking me at night every time I try and walk anywhere. Serena's not attacked me at night. Or indeed at all. In fact... Hasn't, hasn't attacked me at, aimlessly at night. Uh... Walks around in the sun. Hasn't persecuted the lichens. Hasn't drunk blood in at least 1700 years. I'm not sure Serena's a vampire. I think that's my conclusion. The reason we can't progress with this plot is because Serena isn't really a vampire. She's just uh, a goth who's really into that into vampire law. You know, she made all this this thing up, but she can't break character to tell me that because she's very committed. So we're, we're just gonna hang out because she enjoys my fashion, I guess. Yeah, she's super into all the blood stuff. I mean, of course, uh, Raven Tear Sarosong here is also super into the goth fashions. She prefers werewolves. So, you know, I guess they got a lot to talk about. And, and like, you don't want to agree on every detail of your hobbies, right? Because then there's nothing really to discuss. You need you need something to argue over. So we'll be, we'll be great friends in no time. <laughs> Need a ride? Okay, so where's this place that we're going to is near Yeah, near Marka, so I guess we'll we'll take a a wagon you down there. At, where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Get up there. Let's see if we can do this stage request that we've been ignoring. <laughs> see if this one works, because literally every quest I've tried to do today has broken. Right, let's find out if it's a quest, if it's specific to those quests, or if Skyrim in general has just seized up. Actually, no, to be fair, I did manage to uh, successfully turn in those ingredients to the Apprentice Alchemist. 
You're under arrest for murder and conspiracy against the city of Markov. You're not sweet talking your way out of this. Not after what you did. You're headed to Sidna Mine, and that's that. I don't think I am, though. Yeah, I forgot the guards here had issues. They're convinced I'm guilty of I don't know what, and they won't accept what? me okay. paying a fine. I have to go to prison, which I'm not going to do. This way? the Imperials had murdered him for a moment. Preparing to get all riled up, but no, I was the one who killed him. So that makes it okay. Each water rock, so... Oh! Ah, oh, is this the place? To reach water rock, I... Don't actually see the entrance, though. So. Whoop! Jess, thank you for increasing the cost of the reward. <laughs> Man, that that cost is getting up there. Let's see. Thank you, Jess. You're making great things possible. That's the, the highest the reward has ever been. It's, it's soaring up there. We, we can't increase the cost of the reward without you. Right, thank you so much for your support. I'm guessing this is probably an exit. Like, you do the dungeon and then there's a shortcut where you drop out of the waterfall. I don't think we can get in that way. So, along here somewhere? We need to be up there. Maybe I took the wrong path back when it split. Let's see if I can climb up. Okay, this looks promising. Uh, or not. We've reached our limit. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up there. Come on. I'm pretty sure I could climb that in real life. Ugh. Okay, let's let's have a look here. How do I, what's the best way to get up there? Each water rock, each rock. Press on and see if we can get any higher. Yeah, this looks better. 
There's absolutely no need to resist. I fully endorse increasing the cost of the reward. And only you can increase the cost of this reward. Ah, here we go. You've come. The Draugr infesting the Mirror Sanctuary are inside. Then I'll wait. Okay. Clear Namira's sanctuary of the undead. Namira covets your ugliness. Clear Namira's sanctuary of the undead. I don't think then I'll wait. Faces I'm sorry. Namira covets my what? This was productive. I guess we'll still clear the place. Ah, what a session. Guy. That Draugr Death Lord just ran off. Where's he going? You're already dead. Have some dignity. How is it that I can intimidate Draugr Death Lords, but I can't scare off a common pickpocket? With a, a button knife. Jazago, can I... Jazago? Can I get past, please? Jazago, thank you. Oh my gosh, Serena! <laughs> Serena! Let me pass! Okay. Having two companions is clearly the worst thing that's ever happened to me. What a shame that lady had to be a jerk and call me ugly. Like, I was looking forward to getting lunch here.
Okay. Yeah, just block block my jump. Thank thanks, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, two companions is just what I wanted. Does this take me back where I was? Or... Off, so okay, I guess we are going this way. Who's there? Come on, give me your soul. Hulking browser. I think this is the first time I've seen one of these. If they have a higher or a lower level than the Death Lords. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Kick over there. Let's see a thing. Something smells foul. Oh, bye guys. Or what? what happened there? Who's there? I hate the way that your UI disappears when you get hurled through the air by a, a Phosphodar. Every time it happens, I think that I died somehow. Still fighting things over here?
bad. Alright, let me just chuck those boobs. They're not worth that much. Well, I guess this is Numira's temple. All cleaned up. Doesn't look like there's anything exciting here. Guess we just make our way out. Oh, this other doorway's opened, okay. There is more to this. <laughs> Bam food. I never drink wine. Speaking of food, I think I should go get some food myself. I'm starving. Okay, I guess we're outside. Quest complete? We did one quest, glitched two, and failed another. Well, and all a uh, rousing triumph. Is that some Nern root? Let me go grab that. <laughs> oh, uh... Samira? Those, those yours? So all my bats just swooping around, or... no? Just a coincidence. <laughs> Man, I could go for a pizza. I think I gotta cook tonight, though. We've got all these fancy ingredients. I gotta make some good food instead of eating cheap rubbish. Always a bad day when that happens. <laughs> but yeah, I, d I definitely need to go get something to eat, and I need to see to the animals as well, so... That is gonna be me for now. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody, it's been good. Enjoyed meeting all the new people. And it's been cool catching up with you, Jess. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, I'll be back in uh, two and a half hours for the evening stream. When we'll be... I don't think we'll be finishing our Pokemon challenge run tonight, but we're, we're close. I'm guessing probably it's going to be next session that we end it. But we're going to be doing Victory Road and setting up for the Elite Four. Close to finishing our normal type monologue, which I'm excited to be do to uh, to do to lock that in. <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, let's have a look who we can go raid. <laughs> yeah, thanks for being here, Jess. Ah, uh... we go raid Commando Retro. He's on. Uh, he's doing some GTA roleplay, one of the big roleplay servers. He's one of the doctors. He's overseeing a bunch of new people being trained at the moment, which is kind of cool. And also still dealing with the uh, hormones in the water problem, I guess, judging by the fact that his character continues to be a female. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure what happened there, whether there was a game glitch or that turned all the players into girls, or whether it was it is something that they were role playing, but they're rolling with it anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go say hi over there. 
see what they were up to. And thanks for being here, everybody. Hope to catch you next time. Until then. <laughs>